Where are we? Yeah. Oh, there. Are we bright enough? I think we're bright enough. Are we loud enough? We usually are. There. Oh, look. New this is a present. It's a lovely apron thing here. Hi. Am I live? I think I'm live. Yes, I'm live. I'm loud. It's bright enough. I don't know. This is it. Looks good. Can we see the implements things here? This looks good, like we can. I think that's as high as this thing goes. Bonjour, Anzo. Now we can get, whoa, no, that would be bad. Here, I'm trying not to break my camera thing, because it's on a thing. And you have to, like, there. Stay on the thing. <laughs> be good, Mr. Phone. Yeah. Stay on the thing. I have to not fool with it anymore. I would turn it sideways, but it's delicate. It is a delicate thing. What am I doing? Hey, so what are we doing? It's who's going to do the cooking. Yes, it's who's going to do the cooking. Am I bright enough? I love this new lamp. This is so bright. It's so bright. Ah. Okay, so it's a gorgeous, like, springtime day. It's who's going to do the cooking. It's who's going to do the cooking with Allison. Mmm. Jelly. Um. Today is a gorgeous spring-like day in the middle of February here in California, in L.A. It's gorgeous. And they're saying it's going to get into the 80s next week. It's like people are going to go to the beach. And I know. I know I have friends. I have friends in Boston. I have friends in New York. I got friends out on the prairie. And they're all freezing and having ice storms and bundling up. I just, I just heard from a niece that they've got no electricity. But they, they're they're very pioneery, you know. They're they're schoonovers. They're related about so they're like all Boy Scouts and girls. So the yeah, they had fully prepared. They had a camp stove. They were like, yes, we're ready. But um, just got the hair done. Yeah. Um. So they're good. But ice storms and people losing power. I know it's terrible. Oh, there you go. Andy's like, uh, we're girl, we're eighty today. Yeah, we're like eighty in a couple of days. Craziness. So it's like freezing there. It's like, but we're gonna make chili. Which, if you're in a cold place, this is like the most awesome thing. Now, you can make your chili with any whatever meat you're into. You can make it with beef and blah, blah, blah. I use well, ground turkey. I use ground turkey because I just don't like the moo cow stuff. I don't need the meat. You can make this vegan. You can make this vegan. There's this. I got it at Trader Joe's with something meatless crumbles thing. It was a vegan fake meat. It was delicious. You can make it vegan. You can do anything you want want with us you can add stuff but they'll give you the basics so this recipe is kind of my dad's my father made the book okay, my father made the best chili in the freaking universe now it's loosely loosely based on the recipe of chasen's do you know about chasen's so chasen's was this fantastic place in Hollywood, this marvelous restaurant. And Liz Taylor and all the stars went there. Elizabeth Taylor liked the food at Chase and so much. She would call them when she was filming in Europe and say, I want the chili, and you have to freeze it and ship it to Europe, and she'd just pay for that. A bazillion dollars. It was that good. Um, on the set of Little House, we had Chase and chili. It was a big container. You go and you get a little plastic spoon, a little thing, and they had shredded cheese in it. God, it was good. So my father made a thing like that, but his is a little different, a little different. Now, Olive oil. This is I like olive oil. I've read about cooking stuff in butter for chili. Olive oil. Now, you got a big pan. Big pan. I love this. This is like my chili pan. You want olive oil. What is it? Evil? Who's that lady on TV? Is it evil? What happened to this world? Whatever, lady. So we're going to heat that up. Hot. There. Make hot. Ta da! And we're going to wind up cooking this. But not this first. Not this first. No! Because it's all about the little veggie things that go in it. Now, I have a friend who can't eat onions, so we always make him a batch with no onions. And, you know, you can adjust this. If you hate bell peppers, you probably don't want to put bell peppers in it. But they're delicious. Um, so delicious. That is a big non is It's a cathalon. So I'm going to put that in room. It's all about, I chopped everything already because the chopping. Um, if you have a fancy KitchenAid thing that chops things, you, this would be the time because you need a lot of coarsely chopped onions. I chop them by hand because I'm crazy. Um, and I chop bell pepper, a little bit of celery. I love celery. I do, I do put celery in the things. Celery. And yes, we have garlic. That is a lot of chopped garlic, even for this much chili that we're making. It is a lot of chopped garlic. But I like that. Um, so those are the key things. Yes, are we going to use chili powder? You bet your boots. 
And um, now would be the time to break out the cayenne pepper, like Laura Ingalls. Uh, absolutely. Oregano. It's not just Italian. It's a Mexican spice as well. Oregano. Now, there is this thing. Paprika. Paprika is not a hot spice. Paprika is mild. And, you know, people put on potatoes. But there's a thing called smoked paprika. This stuff is deadly. Smoked paprika gives a smoky flavor. I made red beans and rice. I put this in it, and you thought it was straight out of Louisiana. Smoked paprika. It's in the supermarket. It is amazing. I'm putting it in everything now. I'm just like, I smoked paprika. I'm just dumping it on everything. It's like the best freaking thing ever. Um, these are the key ingredients. I cheat. You know that. I cheat. Um, big, this is called six-gun chili mixins. Six-gun. Because it has this packet of this, which has great stuff. It comes with more cayenne pepper in case you need it. This is a mixture of, like, chili powder stuff. Cumin is in there, a bunch of spices. But it also has a little bit of what this is. There's a little in here, and there's a big... This is called masa flour. It is not flour, flour from wheat. It is made of corn. Gluten-free? Gluten-free? Are you gluten-free? Because you can, you can have... It's masa flour. It's made from corn. And they put all these little packets of stuff in here. I don't know why there's, like, two of these. It's, like, one of these rougher than the other. I have no idea. But it is super delicioso. It's very, very good. So to mention, like, that there's two packets, like, why is there two packets? Add the two large brown punch. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty strong. Both of those? I don't know. So, we now have hot oil. What are we going to do? We are going to put in onions. Are we going to put in all these onions? I say most of them. I'm going to save some for throwing on top of my chili. Do you put cheese and onions on yours? I put shredded cheese and shredded chopped onions on mine. Now, a lot of chili recipes, and especially Chasen's, Use, uh, it says pinto beans, little tiny, little tiny beans, little tiny beans, little pinto, pinto beans. My father put kidney beans in it. I don't know. I like them. I like the big, big, big red beans. I like them. Um, so that's really good. Now, these are so good. I'm dumping it all. Dumping it all in. Yes. Throwing things across the room. Garlic. As I said, this is kind of a lot of garlic. I chopped so much. So I'm going to put, and get in there, you little bugger. I'm going to put in about, oh, it's a lot there. There. I put in about two-thirds, I put in about two-thirds of that. I would say it was like a tablespoon of chopped garlic, a tablespoon maybe, several club. I love garlic. I would put all the garlic in everything all the time, I bet. So that's it. You got bell peppers, you got onions, you got garlic. Do we need anything else? Me, I love celery. I put it in my spaghetti sauce. Put it in the chili. It's good for you. Give it a fresh taste. Somebody mentioned the Super Bowl. This is it. Are, if you're doing a Super Bowl party, <laughs> you make a giant bat of this. That you, everyone will be your friend. They will love you. People will love you so much if you make this for Super Bowl. Look at that. That's kind of a lot of vegetables. But we're going to make a lot of chili. They will shrink. They're saying, hold these vegetables. That seems like a lot. It is. But that's okay, because we have, like, a lot of meat, and it'll be fine. And as they cook, as they sort of sauté down, there's a little, you know, shrinkage. There's shrinkage. Um, so this is going to be super duper delicious. I got it nice and hot. I'm even going to get a little crazy. I'm going to add a little more oil, just in case. Now, the Chasen's recipe, it's like chopped steak and cut up chunks of pork, and it's cooked in butter. I, yeah, no, not making that. Um, my father used regular ground beef, sometimes ground turkey, and he used the big red kidney beans. Other than that, it's very similar, and it was delicious, and I learned to make this. So, bell peppers and onions and celery. Cookie, 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 saute, saute. One of my secret ingredients, I just look secret with no lid, Worcestershire Lee and Parents, or Worcester sauce, or Worcestershire. Worcestershire, if you read the label the way it's written, um, is really, really good. Anything with meat, anything you want to taste like meat, like ground turkey, yes, that's what you want. Um, awesomely good. Uh, what do we also have? We have key ingredient. Key ingredients are pop, pop, pop. 
You want these. These are canned tomatoes, but they're whole. Whole, the big Italian whole tomato, big globs of whole tomato. You want this. This is good. This is the kind. I'm using canned beans. If you want to soak kidney beans for all night and do the thing with the beans, sure, go for it. But you can one. You're going to want some sauce, a little tomato sauce, and you want to keep around some paste just in case. It's all about trying to get the right consistency. One of the things the massive flour is for is to thicken it. Do you love the nail color? Yeah, Marcus, love loves the nail color. Yeah, it just comes up. It gets thick. It really does. It gets plenty darn thick. Um, I can't imagine. I almost never have to have this. It just gets so thick with the meat and the veggies and the beans. Um, but you can thicken it. I find what I'll do if I think it's too thin, a little tomato paste, oil masa flour. Honestly, I find myself adding water to like thin it out to a good consistency. It's really, you do need that. You're going to also need, besides this, big pot, big pot, because, yeah, you're going to cook up your veggies and meat, but you need a big pot because you're going to be putting all the stuff. So you're going to need a big pot to mix that all up in. If you have a crock pot, this is now a good time to get out the crock pot because Super Bowl. If you're having Super Bowl or some kind of idea of crock pot, you make this stuff. You can make it the day before. It freezes. It goes great in the fridge. You sit it overnight. It, it tastes even better the next day. You can make this, and if you're having a party, shove it in a crock pot and let people serve themselves and so keep warm. It works really well. Crock pot makes a good warmer. Things that go with it. Cornbread goes with it. You don't know go with it. Tortillas go with it. They're like, can you find the empty star shop? Right, depends where you live. Supply lines. I walked into the Vons, the Albertsons, they all, the Ralphs. They all had it. All had it. Um, apparently, kidney beans, there is not a run on kidney. You can, the kidney beans and the whole tomatoes. You can find those. Do I do my own nails? I do not. I sometimes, I have done my own nails. These are acrylic. They drive now. They're, 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 they're acrylic. They make, they think. I do. I, I cheat. I cheat. I thought my hair is dyed. My nails are fake. Can't have to be thick and let me paint them and not break maybe a few times in my life. But they tend to, as soon as they get past like even like here, they start splitting and breaking and it's like, and I'm also, I'm terrible. I'm like in the garden and I'm not, I'm not properly dainty and Nellie Olson and fit. I'm like Laura. I'm like, ah, let's go fishing. So I'm always wrecking my nails. I discovered that acrylics are great because when you're typing on the computer or you're doing things that will destroy your nails, um, they, they protect them. Sour cream. Patricia mentioned sour cream. Yes. When you make chili, sometimes a dollop. dollop of daisy, a dollop of sour cream is awesome. So look at that. Their um, veggies are very sautéed and kind of cooked. Good. So now what happens? Meat. We have meat. So this is where you take your beef or your steak or your vegetarian substitute or your turkey and you fling it. Don't put the paper in. Don't put the paper in. Into the pan. Ta-da! And I got I should I gotta tilt this. I gotta be careful because this this tripod is a little bit wonky. And we don't want anything bad happening. But I think if I do this, oh yeah, y'all can totally see that, right? Y'all can totally see that, yeah. So now we're gonna break up this meat. Get in there, you little devil. Watch the heat and burn things. And la 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 la. Look at that. Get it in there. And you want it cooked. You want it brown. Now again. Ho 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 ho. Worcester, 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 Chester, Shire sauce. A little of this. Maybe that's a lot. On your turkey. When, it's good on anything. It's good on burgers. It's it's actually even a tiny amount in scrambled eggs. It's like good in everything. Oh. Mm. But indeed, if you're making anything that's meaty, 
um, especially if you're using, hey Bill, if you're using a, a substitute for beef, like a turkey. A lot of people complain that turkey, oh, it's too bland. It doesn't have that savory, beefy taste that meat does. Oh, ho, ho. you add some of this. You put in. Emery says he puts coffee and beer in his chili. You can get drunk and awake at the same time. <laughs> How does that go? <laughs> but I can see, I guess, maybe. Oh, yes, the meat is brown. If you have turkey and you think it's too bland, if you add Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, um, it will not be bland. You will think. You will think it is that. What is it? Are you Allison rich, much money in real? I am not as rich as the Olsons. No, I don't think I am. I think I, I have more money than the Ingalls because I'm not eating dinky more beef stew off a tin plate in a one-room house. So definitely better off than the Ingalls. Probably not as posh as the Olsons. Or I don't spend money on the same stuff. Like I said, them foofy dresses. I had the best dresses on the show. I did. We had best food over at the Olsons, our scenes. It was always the good food. Look at that. That is like, mmm. Now, you can get really nuts. You can put in things like Tabasco sauce or look at this. I got this green. It is actually milder. It's jalapeno. It's actually milder. And this, it's good. That's a little hot. Yeah, hot. But you, it's there. There for you. Highly ribbon. So, if this is cooking. It's still raw. But it's getting there. It's getting that mmm brown beefy cooked look to it. And it smells freaking amazing. Chili. Everything's a chili. Those who are just tuning in, we're making chili with ground turkey, onions, green peppers, garlic, a little bit of celery. And we're just cooking it, cooking it all up. Things we want to add. Because soon, where's my magic can opener? This is crazy. This is a can opener. I am loving this can opener. Now the first thing, don't need it for the beans, has popped up. Beans have popped up. But for my giant monster tomatoes, which will be soon. Look at this. Like, where, where's the cat open? How does it open things? This is bonkers. So when I first got this, I went, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Oh, yeah, Emery sent me this for the birthday. It says who's going to do the cooking. It has a picture of the recipe. It's lovely. Thank you. You place this thing, you know this, and it goes just like that. Like, just on the thing, on the thing, and then you're turning it. And it's like, this seems wrong somehow. It gets it gets stuck in there. Look at that. Okay, there. There you can see it there. And it's, how is that possibly opening anything? But this thing is great. Watch. Tra la 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 la. Okay. Here we go. Hello. Hello from Grand Prairie, Alberta. Okay, they're coming in all over the world. Ooh. Oh, there. I turn, turn, turn. And then, it's not done yet. It's a big can. Turn, keep turning, keep turning. Wait. Huzzah! And it looks like it is not opening the can. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. It's the weirdest can opener. Looks like it's doing absolutely nothing. And then you get around the back. Finally, you're like turning and turning, going, okay, is this stupid thing where What? Wait, there it goes. Wait, it almost came off. The whole thing comes off, and you don't have any sharp edges. That's the big deal. That's the specialty of this can opener. When it works. Hold on, wait. I've got to stir it while it burns. Oh! Okay, the smell is like mind blowing here. Okay, I'll turn it down just a notch. Did that work yet? No, it still didn't work. Come on, y'all. It's being obstinate. There we go. Here I am showing off how great this can opener is and why I love it. It's totally not working, right? Hilarious. Come on, come on. Here, Mr. Can Opener. Yes. Okay, wait. Did it work? It didn't work. Am I going to have to get my real can opener? Dying. It worked last night. It did work last night. That's what they all say. Turn, turn. This is being very weird and obstinate and bad. Come on. There we go. There we go, Mr. Can. The whole lid comes off with no sharp edges. It's like amazing when it actually works. It's very exciting. Oh, I heard. Linda's in Tennessee. Yes, all Bob's relatives in Tennessee, and it is. It's like ice storm. It's terrible. So when this works and it's genius, the idea is that your whole lid just pops off. Except it's not working! So, luckily, I do have another can opener. Hang on one second, I'll move you things. Getting the other can opener. Why? Why are you being so difficult, Mr. Can? Here. Regular can opener. 
I have no idea why that was being so weird. Luckily, we have regular can opener. Notice I have no electric can opener. Like I said, I tend to use things that are like, where's Bob? He's at work. He has a job. I know. It's like, what? Bob has a real job. We love that. Bob is a working person. He grew up real, you know, um, all-American, blue-collar kind of dude. He did had all the jobs, all the jobs. And now he works. It's in an office. It's very nice. Ah, finally. It's big, jumbo. Look at these things. I'll take one right out. Look at that. Whoa! Giant whole Italian tomatoes. These are amazing. So, look at that. That smells pretty darn good already. We literally take the giant tomatoes and gently, gently with the magic camera, er, we take the, er, can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The magic tomatoes and we just go, bloop. What about that? We add a little water. A little water? A little water. Not a lot of water. Yeah, you know, rinse the can, get the rest of the juice out, but you have a water. Like I said, it'll thicken, believe me, it will thicken. <coughs> Throwing things. Now, when I mix this up, I like to bust up the tomatoes a little bit. Squish, squish, also squish, and squish, more squish. Squishy, squish, squish. There. Because they're huge. I like to break them in half. Just break them in half using a spoon. Easy peasy, like that. Squish, squish, squish. Now, as you can see, this already looks insanely delicious and fabulous. But wait! Ooh. Magic, magic packet. Magic packet. I'm going to need scissors. Ah, oh, she's got out the scissors. Where's the scissors? Scissors! Throwing things. Scissors. Okay. So, do, 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 do. Does it smell good? Woo! Hey! Magic packet of chili spices. What's in it? Mmm. Gluten free. Gluten free. Gluten free. It's got spices. It has stuff in it. It has um, dehydrated onions, garlic, uh, salt, cayenne pepper, chili. It's all this fabulous chili powder stuff. Now, Right away, this gets darker and takes on the appearance of, well, chili. Squish, squish, squish. But you may well say, I don't think there's enough liquid. It's not tomatoey enough. That's not saucy enough. This is where we add sauce, which I'm going to use the regular can opener for after that last experience. So we put in regular old tomato sauce. Yes, smooth that out there. Yeah. Booyah. Point. Sauce. Look at that. Am I going to add more water? A little, because I'm going to rinse this puppy. Speaking of rinsing, one of the other things we do is when you take these gorgeous beans, which will be soon, out of this can, which is a pop top, thank heavens. Um, there's a lot of goop. So I'm going to dump it in the colander and rinse them because they're kind of gross. So, magic colander, magic colander. Come on, y'all. Open. There we go. Oh, we're going to need more. Let's see. I wish no. We may need more. Rinse it. There's goop all over them. Goop. There. As are ready. Good. I got the goop off the beans. So, Look at this. It's boiling. It's boiling. It's cooking. It's tomatoey. It's bell peppery. It's oniony. It's meaty. Now what? This is where it gets exciting. Now, it gets exciting now. Tilty, tilty, tilt a whirl, tilt a whirl. Erp, Good enough. Scoot back a little. So you, can see me. you can see me and the pan. It's perfect. So, this is, of course, chili powder. There's some in there. I like to add a little more. Should I add the second packet? Like, why not, right? Let's add some of, we'll add some of the second packet, because this is pretty hot. Whoa, that smells good. Uh, it's fine, half. Now, see, it's getting darker. That dark color. You want that? You want the dark color? And we can get a little crazy, like I said, a little more. Otherwise, just a sauce. Like, Emery is putting coffee and beer in his. 
I bet it's a lovely color. Now you see that's wonderfully goopy. Now, this is where we get nuts. A little oregano, like I said, it is actually a Mexican spice as well as an Italian spice. It's delicious. Now I need to do a little tasty, tasty thing. Oh look, I have a little ladle guy. Oh. Mm. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, needs more. So they have included, did they include their cayenne? Where's their cayenne pepper? Huh, 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 where is it? They hid it from me. Oh. Where is it? Here it is. Look at that. That's just a little bit of cayenne pepper. That's not that much. So I'm going to put cayenne pepper. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Like on the cinnamon chicken. Just like on the cinnamon chicken. Here's the thing. So when Laura put so replace the cinnamon in the cinnamon chicken with cayenne pepper, in the show, Dean Butler and I pretended that we were mortally wounded by this and hacking and coughing and gagging. Oh, we just did that. She said, don't do cayenne pepper, Tanya. We just did cayenne pepper. We did a lot of cayenne pepper. Dean didn't act like we were just dying from that cayenne pepper. And, of course, there was nothing. We were acting. We were acting. But the reality is, had someone given me cinnamon chicken replaced the cayenne pepper, I probably would have eaten the whole thing and said, is there more? Because I like it spicy. So that's where we're going to get nuts. Smoked paprika. This stuff. Whoa. Like I said, go get a thing of paprika. Get a thing of smoked paprika. Smell the difference. Paprika, very mild. Put it on a baked potato. Smoked paprika, dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh, look. I just added a lot. Don't care. Okay. Salt. I don't salt things a lot. I don't put too much salt. I'm very low salt, very healthy. Also, Bob, the doctor said, not so much salt, not so much salt for you. So here's how much salt. I, oh, there, that's enough. Boom. If you like salt, if your doctor has not said you have high blood pressure, dig in, dig in, salt it up. But to taste. Now, right there, more heat, more heat, boil damn it. This is amazing. Look at this. Already, it is amazing. I have to taste it again. See if it needs anything. It's probably fine. Now, the problem with this, this has to cook for a while. A while. It does wait. No more. Oh! It's fabulous. It's absolutely bloody fabulous. All right. It's spicy. Right about now, I'm like, oh, that's a little hot. If I was really crazy, I would add some more cayenne pepper. I might even add the Tabasco. But I'm going to go easy. <laughs> I'm going to go easy and not hurt myself. Oh. So we're going to go very easy, not add more of that. Now, it's a, is it thin? Is it thin? Do we need tomato paste? Do we need masa flour? Well, what we're going to need soon is beans, but how are we going to fit all this in here? And it needs to cook for a long time. So that's where magic pot! comes in the great big giant pot here. This is going to get a little messy, but I think we can do this. Let's get this into a big old pot. Now, <clears throat> we have pot holders. Safety! Pot holders must have saucer. Do you like it with rice? It's great on rice. I love chili on rice. You can put it on a hot dog. You can make a chili dog. You can do whatever the heck you want. It is amazing. I'm making a mess. Yes. Now, put that there. Okay. Oh, it's working, it's working, working, not making giant mess. Yay, yay. Oh my God, it worked. And I didn't hurt anything. I did not set myself on fire or spill chili all over the floor. It's a miracle. A miracle, I tell you, because you know how bad I am. Now, chop, chop. See, now we have lots of room. We have lots of room in this big old pot to be mixing stuff in. Yes, there we go. So now, if you want to add more water, do you want to add more sauce? Do you want to add the masa flour? Do you want to, do you want thicker? Do you want thinner? Do you do whatever you want? And now, you also add, tra la la, the beans. Oh, look, beans. There you go. Now, stir, 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 stir. Oh, yeah. See, I like the big red kidney beans. Yes, the recipes also. Try the little tiny pinto beans. These white, the, all these different beans. Heck no. I want them big red giant beans where, where I can see them. So this is going to cook for a while. 
And then we might add the paste. We might add the masa flour to thicken it further. More spices to taste. And then this needs to simmer for really a very long time. So what are we going to do? How are we going to eat this now? What? Because like magic. Oh, wait. This is a cooking show. We have magic. What's that? Oh, look. Put this over here. It's another entire pot of chili that got made, like, last night. And what goes with chili? But homemade cornbread. You know, you have the cornbread. There's a video already for the cornbread. So there you go. Cornbread. You can make cornbread, and cornbread goes with it, as do other lovely things, which you'll show off over here. Cornbread, sit over there. Great. So, <laughs> I know, it's like, it's boo, 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 look, it's done. Um, so we did that, and I took uh, the lid off. Holy moly. I made this last night, and it has simmered, and then warmed it up this morning, letting it, like, sit in the oven. Now, see me, I might even add more beans to that. I am crazy. I might add more beans to that. But I think, generally, that's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. And it's a bit spicy. We, we just, Bob and I tested it last night. It's insanely spicy. So, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, sniffling, because it's clearing, this stuff is clearing my sinuses. Just smelling it. The cayenne pepper. Oh. Mm. It's going up my nose. So, holy moly. That's what that should look like. Yes. So now what am I going to do to it? What am I going to do to it? Am I going to put things on it? Yes. So I'm going to move all of these lovely things out of my way. Draw, la, la, la. Put these things out of my hand. Grab these other things. Do, 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 do. Because we have, we have chopped onions and cheese and things. Things that go with cornbread. Cornbread. Things that go with chili. When you make this, you have Look, tortillas. Tortillas go beautifully with it. Chips go with it. Tortilla chips, you get the ones Trader Joe's. These are delicious with it. My personal favorite, chopped onions and shredded cheddar cheese. So look, this wasn't, you know, that bad. What is it? It's 45 And you would have to cook it for a while. But the basic recipe, that didn't take long. You just, you know... Yeah, I don't know. Does everyone put grated cheese on their chili? I don't know. Maybe they do. I'm going to put a little choppy, choppy onions. Yay. I need my cornbread. Cornbread. Hot, hot, hot. I just touched a hot pan of cornbread. Scoot over. Yes. So I need kniff. Where's my kniff? Tra la la la. I want cornbread. Yes. Cornbread. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this stuff. Come on out of that pan. And it's like hot and crumbly. Mm. Okay, cornbread. Cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm making a mess. I don't care. It's worth it. Cheese. Lots of cheese. Just like a lot of cheese. I don't care. But you can put, yeah, a nice warm flour tortilla, some chips, a hunk of cornbread. Cheese, onions, sour cream, if you are into that sort of thing. Look at the steam. Look at the steam coming off of that bowl. This is so good. Honey on cornbread. Have you ever made honey butter? That's really good on cornbread. So you melt some butter in the honey and you mix it together and let it solidify. So this is amazing. It is spicy. Now the thing is, when you make this, it's really good the next day. Oh, it's free. you can freeze it. Shove some in a Tupperware thing. Shove it in the freezer. You can freeze it. It's... Um, Bob said, are we having chili? He wanted chili last night. He's like, what, what? You made chili? I said, we already had dinner, and this is for tomorrow. He's like, but can I have some anyway to try it? Or like, yes. So he had to have, he had a bowl of chili because he couldn't resist. And he said, so what, tomorrow night we have chili for dinner? We have chili for dinner? Yes, with the cheese and the onions. <laughs> He's like, incredibly excited. Mmm. I love 
the chopped onions. Now, another great chili place in L.A. is Chili Jaunt. If you're in Los Angeles, anywhere in Los Angeles, in L.A., Burbank, go to Burbank if you're visiting Los Angeles, and there's a place called Chili John's in Burbank. Look it up. I don't think they're open for dinner, like only for lunch. You can buy, you can only eat there, you can buy vats of the chili to take home. It's amazing. They make beef, chicken, and vegetarian chili. They make mild, medium, and spicy. And they do it with beans or with spaghetti. They like add the beans later. And like that's it. They have chili, chili, and chili. And they have also pineapple pie, which is like <clears throat> astounding. All right. I think it's a little spicy. This is really good. Mm. Oh, your husband worked at the pageant. Love those pageants. My sinus, <laughs> like my nose is running because there's so much smoked paprika and cayenne pepper in there. It is delicious. It is absolutely delicious. And so it's not really hard to make. Onion, bell pepper, garlic, celery, meat. Chili, fix and spices. Cumin child put you know, with get the recipe, you use a mix. Smoke paprika, you smoke paprika is your friend. Cook it, cook it, cook it. Whole tomatoes, whole tomatoes. Sauce, paste if you want that. Cook it for a long time, add the beans. Can't go wrong. And like I said, Super Bowl, parties, a cold day. Your friends will be very happy. Mm. Okay, can you smell? That's what I can smell. Mm-hmm. You can, you can smell it through the camera. It's that good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I got to heat up the rest of that new whole vat, with some, put some more beans in there, and, like, mix them or something, and we have, like, 10,000 pounds of chili, which means several of my friends are getting Tupperware containers of chili in the next few days. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, who's going to do the cooking? It could be you, because look how easy that was. Look how easy it was. This is like the best chili you've ever eaten in your life. All right, I will see you later. Am I reading today? Yes, shockingly, I am. I'm going to go over there with a bowl of chili, and I'm going to read. All right, see you later. Oh.